Good morning, grade 9. So today will be our fifth pre-recorded lesson for the second quarter. And for this week topic, we will be discussing a one-act play written by Percival Wilde, his return. Okay? And let's going to find out what it is all about. This one act play written by Mr. Wilde is reprinted in eight comedies for little theaters and it is now in the public domain and may therefore be performed without royalties. All right, so Percival Wilde, he was an American author and playwright best known as a writer of one act play. But he also wrote several mystery novels and short stories. Okay, so he was born in New York and graduated from Columbia in 1906. Also, he served as a secretary and director of American Dramatists. So that is Percival Wilde. And here are the characters in the one act play in, or rather his return, okay? So first we have John Hartley. He is the husband of Helen, uh, an army officer, and returned to their home after an absence of years. Okay, so that is John Hartley. Next we have Helen Hartley, uh, the wife of John, and she became shy because of her personal appearance. Next, we have Sylvia Best. Uh, she is a friend of Helen who gave her a word of encouragement and the maid, so the caretaker of the house. And here is the summary of the play. So it all started with the nicely furnished bedroom of Mrs. Hartley's home in a small northwestern town when a man entered her room, it was Mr. John Hartley, his husband, who is very excited returning home after three years. So he expects to see his wife, but he is disappointed because his wife was not there. This one-act play focuses on the return of John Hartley from time in the service after three years. And his wife, Helen, is expecting his return. So she tries to put herself in his favorite dress from before John left. And much to Helen's dismay, she has outgrown things. And after trying on a dress that no longer fits, Helen laments her lost years. Her husband is coming home to an old maid, an old ugly maid. So that was in the mind of Helen. But John loves his wife and doesn't see the passage of time. All right. And for you to understand and enjoy the play, please watch the video that I have prepared for you and be ready to share your insights during our live discussion okay all right Never thought I'd shake hands with a real hero. Hero? 
Bosch. They're all heroes over there. I was just unlucky. Wounded. Sent home. Nevertheless, the town's mighty proud of you. I know. Shucks. I don't care about the town. Tell me, how is she? Limited. Oh. What is it? She's not expecting you until 5 o'clock. But I took the earlier train. But why did you do that? Is it so difficult to understand? It was dumb. Dumb? Don't you see? She wanted to look her nicest. To be ready. To receive you. What of that? She'd be simply heartbroken if she knew that you'd arrived and she wasn't even ready. You see? It's something very special. Oh, something very special. <laughs> oh, here she is now. Oh. <clears throat> you won't ruin it, will you? Oh, God forbid. Remember, half an hour upstairs will seem almost as long as three years over there.
というわけです。
Isn't that wonderful to be home again? To stand under the roof of my own house. To walk the streets of my own town. Is that all, John? No, that isn't all. Say it, John. Say it. To feel your arms around my neck. To feel, feel your lips pressing mine. story or rather the play so i hope you enjoy watching and you learn something from the play all right so that's all for today grade nine again this is teacher mitch your english teacher saying don't stop exploring and keep on learning so goodbye everyone have a nice day